Cornell is finally able to look back at his legacy with the band that put him on the map, Soundgarden. They were the first band from the Seattle grunge scene to sign to a major label, but they were one of the last to have commercial success. In 1994, Soundgarden's album Super Unknown debuted at number one on the Billboard rock charts and yielded the Grammy award-winning singles Black Hole Sun and Spoon Man. In 1997, Soundgarden broke up due to creative differences, presumably between Cornell and founding Soundgarden guitarist Kim Thale. We caught up with Chris Cornell recently to discuss his latest solo release, Carry On, and if he could look back on his legacy with Soundgarden. I think in, in this is now with some distance and listening to the records, but but you know, it's, on the outside looking in, I, with all earnestness, I think Soundgarden made like the, the best records out of that scene. I think the, the we were the most um, daring and experimental and genre pushing, really, and and um, you know I'm really proud of it. And I guess that's why. I have trepidation about the idea of reforming and you know I don't know what it would mean or or you know I guess I just have this image of who we were and and I I had probably a lot of anxiety during the period of being Soundgarden as we all did that it was responsibility and that it was an important band in music and we didn't want to mess it up and we managed to not which is like I feel like a great achievement so what are Cornell's thoughts on a possible Soundgarden reunion in the future? I don't think it's something that will happen, you know. It's, it's, it's something that not one member of Soundgarden has ever brought up. Um, you know, I've never gotten a phone call from any of them with an interest in doing a show or even a song or anything. Um, you know, everybody's kind of busy doing what they're doing. And I guess, it, you know, I don't really see any reason for it. it I think the, the the only reason would be for the fans, but I feel like that's a kind of a double-edged sword in a way. You know, we were able to have a career as Soundgarden and make records all the way up to the last one that that I feel were totally vital and totally creative and daring records. And I think the last record was the best one, and the band produced it and mixed it, and, and it was the 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 most kind of cohesive the band ever was was on that last record. Now and then we just kind of put it away unscathed, you know, and untainted. So I can't imagine, you know, what would be a good enough reason to take that back out and and then start tampering with it now. You know, that doesn't really make sense to me. With 2007 forever being known as the summer of reunions with bands like Rage Against the Machine, The Police, and The Smashing Pumpkins reforming, has Cornell been approached about a Soundgarden reunion? It usually ends up being money that motivates people in getting that kind of thing back together. And um, hopefully we'll never be in a position where that is something that um, becomes so important that we need to make, uh, you know, make a decision we really want to make. Cornell's U.S. tour in support of Carry On starts July 10th at the Warfield Theater in San Francisco and will extend until July 31st at the Beacon Theater in New York. Chris and his band are also set to participate in Live Earth on July 7th along with The Police, Dave Matthews Band, The Foo Fighters, Smashing Pumpkins, Roger Waters, Bon Jovi, Alicia Keys, The Red Hot Chili Peppers, Genesis, Madonna and Linkin Park. Cornell will be performing at the show in Germany along with Snoop Dogg and many others.